Here's a model we don't get in often and unique, especially in classics. Let's take a look at this one. 1972 Mercury Cougar XR7 convertible. True XR7. 76F is the body code, so we know it's a true XR7. Two owner car. Bought by the second owner in 2010. According to the original owner, 66,000, a little over 66,000 original miles. 351 underneath the hood that is paired up with a C6 automatic transmission. Nicely equipped power steering, power brakes, AC. AC blows cold and has been converted from R12 to R134. Take a look at the front grill, chrome, bright work, looks good. Now, the one thing in this car, paint does show its age some. This is one, get in, drive it, have some fun. Or, if a guy wanted to spend a little bit, take it to the next level, be a perfect candidate to uh, put a new paint job on. But it is the original color, a bright red. 2B is the paint code on this one. If you want to check out the still pictures, so you can see the underside, the interior engine bay. Check out the still pictures at uniqueclassiccars.com. Click the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. And, of course, you can call us, 507-386-1726. When you go around and look around these wheel wells, you're going to see a little bit of corrosion here and there. Not so much on this front passenger side. Down the lower rockers also look good. But you do have some touch up and some blemishes and what have you in the paint. Down along here. Now, a few little spots like here where I'm talking about where if you want to take the next level, take a little attention, but boy, not bad. Again, car you can get into the collector hobby, have some fun, drive, nicely equipped. AC blows cold, power top works, go down for you. There's that vinyl interior. Again, black vinyl interior, original. Color on this car appears to be original interior also. Um, won't be surprised if that top is also original. Now remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. Rear chrome shows well. And again, it's not that the paint looks bad. It just shows its age a little bit. Uh, there is a convertible top boot or parade boot if you will I did have that very close to being um, on the car if I had it out in the sun got it just a little more pliable I think a guy would be able to get it on there the car looks good with the top down without it still pictures once again see pictures of the top up top down undersides trunk at uniqueclassiccars.com click on the link down below this video in the description it's going to take you right there let's take a look a little closer at the driver's side can see a little bit of paint missing here lower rockers about the same on this side but again not bad drive this car the way it is have a little fun with it or spend a little time make it the way you want it again up here in the front one looks good give you an idea all right, 15 inch wheels, of course, if you notice that. There is an amp slash equalizer, I should say equalizer booster that is in the glove box for the radio. Radio works, AM, FM, wipers work. Like I said earlier, this appears could very easily be original door panels, seats, and pretty much free of rip, rips, tears, the exception of a little bit of wear in this bolster. And it's just kind of cracking in the vinyl, not so much a real rip, but more cracking of the vinyl right there, which, again, kind of leads me to believe original mile car, original interior. All right, let's go ahead and fire this up. Once you hear it run, there's the exact miles, if you can kind of make those out, if it's clear enough or not. Read 66709. Glare's a little bit tough. If you can see that or not. 66709. All right, fires right up. Fuel gauge coming up. Here's the fuel gauge is working. Let me close the door. Door warning chime works. Gauge is over here. Amp meter. Oil pressure. 
both appear to be working fine. Like I said, that radio works good. And again, booster equalizer in the glove box. AC controls as well as heat. Again, AC blows cold, wiper works. Uh, what else in here? Let's take a look at the top of the dash. All right, let's slip out. We're going to check out this engine bay. So it doesn't sound like there's any major engine work done to this as far as like a cam or anything like that in it. Just a smooth running 351. No crazy exhaust. All right, I'm going to pause this a second. Let's uh, go ahead and pop this hood, check out the engine bay, and then we'll wrap it up by taking a look at that convertible top. There we go, the hood popped. 351 Cleveland, by the way. And here you can see the AC's been converted, I mentioned earlier. Power steering, power brake car. Pretty stock looking. Engine bay has had MSG, MSD or electronic ignition added. Still see the original stamp on the valve cover. Nice, clean, tidy engine bay. Not a lot of corrosion or anything like that. You'll notice the little cord tape here. It does have an onboard battery charger already, or I should say, the pigtail for the battery charger already on board hooked up to it battery charger that goes along with it will be in the trunk all right that gives you an idea on the engine bay how it runs how it sounds one last thing this automatic power top we're going to put that up which does function just fine check out this black vinyl top hey did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty it's just like the one you get at your new car dealership except it covers your classic car instead it covers all the major components like engine transmission drivetrain and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. And here's the top up. Fits nicely above the windshield. Again, power top, black vinyl. Do have a glass rear window. As you can see, driver's side free of rips, tears, holes. Glass is in good shape around here to the driver's side. Again, free of rips, tears, holes. So as far as keeping you dry, out of the sun, whatever the case may be, it'll do that just fine. And went up under its own ability and back down. There you go, 1972 Mercury Cougar XR7 convertible. Give us a call, 507 38 Six one seven two six, uniqueclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. And remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in. Or email.